Hi Thormies, we have finished um, the female hormones, now we're going to go on to the male hormones. We have the andro androgens and um, we're going to do testosterone. Alright, so what does testosterone do? I have a picture that shows the normal course of testosterone in the male. Um, it is very, very low at birth. Um, increases through middle age and then decreases again um, as the male ages. So if this is the normal levels of testosterone, if the male is having delayed puberty, if they have too low of testosterone, we can actually give it to um, help bring on puberty. So it is given for delayed puberty. Um, it is also taken um, or abused. It has high abuse potential um, and if uh, people abuse testosterone um, and take too much they do run the risk of they, they get what they're trying to get the bulked up muscles but they also get um, increased cholesterol and decreased sperm count. So too much tea gives you a decreased sperm count. Um, if you are taking um, testosterone and an additional medication, so testosterone is a steroid. Remember, if you take more of an additional uh, of a medication that's the same, so two of the same meds, you're going to get more of the same symptoms. So with other um, steroids or corticosteroids, you get fluid retention and edema. So if you're taking testosterone, you may have even more fluid retention and edema um, because it's in the same class of drugs. Um, so we've talked about how testosterone um, is used for men. Let's talk about the men who should not take testosterone. So the men who shouldn't take testosterone are the men who have prostate cancer. So prostate cancer feeds on testosterone, so do not give additional testosterone to anyone with prostate cancer. Um, conversely, we can, give we can give testosterone as a palliative treatment for breast cancer. So breast cancer, um, giving testosterone um, negates the effects of estrogen. Remember, estrogen um, breast cancer feeds on estrogen. So we can give testosterone to uh, balance that out. And if we do that, we can end up with the symptoms of um, that you would get in, in males with testosterone. So you would get facial hair, you could get acne, and you can get um, female pattern baldness. Um, all right, so testosterone, just like all the other hormones, we have a cycle and levels that we should have in our body. If we take too much, um, we get some very negative side effects, um, and we have to um, keep it away from people who have testosterone-feeding tumors, like prostate cancer, um, and we can give it to people who have estrogen-feeding tumors to balance out or negate the effects of the estrogen. All right, I hope that clears up how we use testosterone. Have a great day.